However, Biden supporters were not the only ones making their voices heard. Supporters of President Donald Trump were speaking out as well. Um, I, I want to put an end to the endless wars. I want to secure our borders and I want to bring jobs back to the United States so that middle class people can, can flourish and prosper just like everybody else. Literally go away. The utter state of political discourse with white women. It's like, it's like you let Twitter.com just like go into their brain for five minutes and then they just... How much more do I have to explain it to you? Oh, probably a lot. I'm not really getting it. Well, then take a hike. Okay. She called me a dumbass. Yeah. That wasn't nice. So what, do you, what, do, what does color is not a crime mean? Do you have a brain? What's your name? John Doyle. John Doyle? What's the name like? John Doyle? People can, say that. You could be the president. Go away with your germs. Go away, bud. Okay. All right. I'll go away. Roll the window up, too. We don't want it to get through the AC. That's for later. That is for later. Don't. We will be bullhorning. Don't even worry about it. Yes, equality. I agree. We need to end discrimination against white men. I also pay nothing in taxes because I'm a genius, just like our president. We're high energy. We're Zoomers. I'm for the democracy. Democracy is cringe. Read some Aristotle. Uh, my brain's f***ed, boys. <laughs> Got a big headache. Let's go went migraine mode. There's like this, maybe about a third a mile stretch of, of Biden people, uh, more specifically anti-Trump people. So cameraman Badan, being a genius, thought it would be super funny if we went, walked down that way, got content, then went MAGA mode, mod back with a megaphone and tried to get back to the car. <laughs> it's like left for dead. Gotta get back to the safe house. And then uh, we're gonna go get some steaks. We're gonna vibe. But uh, in and out, boys, in and out. Okay, let's go. So what do you mean by hate plus division equals Trump? I explain your equation to me and, and, and how you came about that. I think he's very hateful. Okay. And he's very divisive. Therefore, and he so, is Trump. Yes. Okay. Okay. Yeah. It's airtight to me. Yeah. So what, do you, what, do, what does color is not a crime mean? Do you have a brain? Do I have a brain? Yeah. Well, actually, I got a pretty bad migraine yesterday, and so I'm kind of recovering from that. I don't know if you've had experience, but this is the phase that's referred to as the migraine hangover. So operatively right now, no, I don't oh, have a brain. Okay. Um, well, I don't want my black friends to step outside and be scared every time they um, step outside. Yeah. Yeah, so that's what color is not a crime means. Why do you think that they're so afraid in this country just by stepping outside? Uh, because they can because stub their toe and get shot. Our, our highest level of the people are supposed to protect us are the ones killing them. That's exactly, why. for no reason. And they don't even get justice for killing them. They get away with it and go home. But if I killed you right now, I would go to jail. But if they that's shot people, true. a black guy on the side of the road, they wouldn't go to jail. Hi, guys. Hello. I hope you're having a great day. Thank you. Yeah. I don't have a mask. Why? Well, because we're outside and I was trying to, you know, be socially distanced. America can't be great again if it wasn't great in the first place. You never think America's like been great at any time? Yes! What? Sorry. You don't think America's <laughs> ever been great? Um, nah, not with Donald Trump. And <laughs> What'd you say? I could afford to make one myself, but I don't want to because it's a cope. Yeah, it's actually the biggest coping like strategy in the history of probably humanity. No, it's not. It's actually pretty epic. Like that everyone got convinced that wearing the mask would save them from the virus. That's kind of funny. No, I'm a barista and I pay more in taxes than our president. How much, do you mind if I ask how much you paid in taxes in 2019? In 2019? I don't know, more than $750, that's for sure. Really? That's, yes. Yes. Guess how much I paid in taxes in 2019? How much? I paid zero dollars in taxes. Uh, why? Did you not work? Are you unemployed? No, I'm self-employed. And so when you have a business, you can like, you know, f with the loopholes and stuff. So you have to pay nothing in taxes. You're not from around here. Either. What does that mean? Like what does that mean? It. Don't really go like that big. Man. <laughs> now I'm just sad. I'm just like, you don't look like you're from around here, boy. <laughs> she just kept... <laughs> what? Who makes more sense than me? The screen people that told you that wearing the mask in the car would shave you from corona? In the medical field, and we are told to wear masks. Everyone in the medical field wears a mask. Yeah, when they're are doing you like surgery stuff? I'm not. I'm not a doctor. Oh, I make YouTube videos. Just go away with your germs. Go away, bud. Okay, all right. I'll go away. 
Roll the window up too. We don't want it to get through the AC. Okay, bud. <laughs> Bro, she had big Canadian accent. She was like, go away. <laughs> That's an interesting niche community. I didn't know that there was a, a Firefighters for Biden and Harris. Yeah, there are. What is, is that like, just the there's... International Association of Firefighters. Is that just because, um, like, you think that they're going to help fight fires better? Or is there something, like, specifically with them cutting your jobs or something like that? Because both of my sons are firefighters, mm -hmm. so there you have it. Well, I understand that, but, like, why would that compel you to support Biden over, like, Trump, them being firefighters? Support the pussy grabber? No, I'm not doing it. But what does that have to do with fighting fires? I am supporting yeah. my whole family. I'm here support, uh, to represent my whole family mm -hmm. to support Biden-Harris. Immigrants, GBLTQ, um, women, a lot of strong women. So what are you guys doing? I'm just asking, I'm just wondering what that has to do with fighting fires. Their union is supporting Biden and yeah, Harris. Yeah, I was just wondering why, like over Trump, as a, a firefighting union. Because they know what's right. They know who to support. With fighting fires or just in general? It's the union. It's the union that is, fight, uh, that is supporting Biden, Harris. It's not supposed to be like a gotcha question. I'm just wondering, you know, like the UAW might well, go one how way. How much or? more do I have to explain it to you? Oh, probably a lot. I'm not really getting it. Well, then take a hike. Okay. She called me a dumbass. Yeah. That wasn't nice. Well, she called you a dumbass. She called me a dumbass twice, man. People in Minnesota are mean. All right, that's what I thought. Get the f out of here, then. All right, megaphone. 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 Oh, boy. Oh, my bad. My bad. Turn on. Epic. I can't hear you, but my megaphone is much bigger. Look at you, Tim. Your plane is smaller. Goodbye. Let's go back and forth. Let me go a mile down the road first. It'll be funnier. Um, if you. Do you think that was really funny? Because I thought a that was really body funny. body without her consent. Um, yeah, I think you should go to jail. But it seems like everybody keeps mistaking like those huge courtyards with the tall houses for the White House, and I'm like really confused about it. It doesn't make sense to me, but. Whatever. Are you talking about Donald Trump and, yes. and Joe Biden, or like more specifically Donald Trump? Because I know that Joe Biden's also had allegations made against. He's had allegations, but yeah. Donald Trump has the opportunity to literally get it off of his record completely, but he won't give DNA to prove himself innocent. So for me, that seems a bit guilty, but yeah, maybe that's just me. <laughs> so it's just Donald Trump, or do you think that the allegations against Joe Biden are credible too? Oh, I think there's hundreds of millions of allegations in Washington. I don't with yeah. any of them. Yeah. <laughs> I just think for the sake of America and democracy, Biden's who we should be voting for. I think AOC needs to run. Yep. Really? Yeah. What's your favorite thing about AOC? Green New Deal. Okay. What Wouldn't do you like about the Green so New nice Deal? nice if we like didn't destroy our planet? I think that would be super dope. I, I also. And I that seems like a really there. constructive plan to do that. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, yeah. I, I don't know. I don't really look at someone like her and think that like her particular plan is like the way to stop destroying the world, specifically because she works in like United States government. But if you look at uh -huh. the countries that are actually like contributing the most to like the global decline mm -hmm. as far as the environment, it'd be countries like China or India, mm -hmm. uh, less developed countries. And so I don't really see how like taxing uh, America into basically a depression economically would be like fixing the oh. planet. Well, just we're not really doing anything, relatively speaking, that would, that would do yeah, that. Yeah, that's not true. That's uh, not? No, oh, I think true. that. That's like saying, I am someone who, uh, I took money off of the street and a bunch of other people take money off of the street, so why can't I just keep taking money off of the street even though it belongs to other people? It's still wrong, and that doesn't mean that you can't change yourself. Just because everyone else is doing it, doesn't mean you should be doing it too. And polluting our air is not cool, polluting the water is not cool, so even if everybody else is gonna do their own thing and they don't wanna make the change, I. Like, hello, this is America. We should have already been doing this. Yeah. This should have already been on our agenda. So The Green New Deal, though, isn't just talking about things like, you know, stopping pollution. It's talking about things like guaranteed uh, employment, guaranteed money for those even unwilling to work, different welfare programs. I mean, that's why it's called the Green New Deal. Yeah, it's zero carbon emissions by 20, 2050. Yeah, so, like, that's yeah. much different, though, than the Green New Deal. Like, the Green New Deal is much more kind Hold of... Hold on. A, we need to step back. You're not wearing a mask. Oh. Just okay. step back a little bit. There okay. My bad. Thank you. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. I get if you don't like the Green New Deal, that's your choice, but personally, I would drop some ass for AOC any time of day. I think say, she's awesome. Drop, do you say acid or ass? I don't know, whichever one you prefer.
end of the road. Dump Trump. Why? Because he's an idiot. Why? That's my end statement. Get away from me. You're not wearing a mask. Okay. What about you? What is that? Okay. Literally go away? What if I figuratively go away? Literally go away. The utter state of political discourse with white women. It's like it's like you let Twitter.com just like go into their brain for five minutes and then they just you know? I literally don't have Twitter. She literally doesn't have Twitter. Literally as much as I want to. Okay, okay, okay. Bro, <laughs> oh, they do, they are not fans of the boys. <laughs> they do not like the boys. All right, boys. So made it to the stop sign. Um, so here's the thing: we didn't want to do this. We did want to do this. However, we were provoked. They were being aggressive. They were antagonizing the boys. And it wasn't even because we were being outspokenly anti-Biden or pro-Trump. Really, what it was is just that we were refusing to wear the mask. And not even refusing. We just didn't have one on. And that in itself is now a, a politicized like statement, I guess. Hey, what's up, man? Did you? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hey, we want to keep America great. Yeah, we do. Because. Why? Let's because go. capitalism gives people an economic opportunity to uh, proceed with their dreams in this country, no matter what. Yeah. If, if you have the littlest dream or you have the largest dream, you can make it achievable in this country. That's true. What's your dream? My dream? Yes, sir. I want to be the president of the motherfucking USA! Let's go! Yeah! <laughs> Yo, can I be your VP? What's your name? John Doyle. John Doyle? With the name like John Doyle? People you can, say that. You could be the president. <laughs> we'll see. We'll see. People say that uh, my name has that kind of sound to it. Oh, they no like rules. it. Yes, sir. Yo. Oh, let's go. Yo, how old are you? Are you 14? No, okay. 17? 17 and Husky. Let's go, boys. No, the energy's too high. Thinking. We're going megaphone mode. Let's go! Let's go! How old are you? How old are you? 18! 18, 18 and Husky! Let's go! <laughs> Alright boys, we gotta just get back to the car. That's the objective. We get back to the car, we go get steaks. Steaks. Banter. Steaks for the boys. Oh, to be alive in Trump's America! President Trump! Let's go! We're gonna make America great again! Feelings. <laughs> Biden Harris, low energy, can't relate. How you doing? Very epic. Very epic. Very epic. We're in the street. We're mobbing. We're with the dawn. We're high energy. We're zoomers. You're low energy. I have a life. This is my life. My life is for President Trump. I'm for democracy. Democracy is cringe. Read some Aristotle. Let's go! Yes, I disagree with that fundamentally. I'm not a fascist, and you don't hate me. You don't even know me. You're a fascist, and I hate you. You hate me? Yeah. Do you want to add me on Snapchat? No. We can talk sometime? No. No? Okay. Okay. We're going to make America great again for you, too. Chilling. Yes, we are. Challenge it. Challenge it. Take a megaphone. We have a megaphone. Why are you so hateful? Accept the dawn into your heart. Let's go. It's MAGA season. My megaphone is too loud. I'm too high energy. You're mad at your dad and you're taking it out on me. I'm sorry. Let's go. MAGA season. Yes, equality. I agree. We need to end discrimination against white men. Equality for all, including conservatives. Let's go. It's MAGA country. Isn't it great, folks? Don't we love free speech? Don't we love free speech, folks? Oh, we Don't we love our country? Don't we love President Trump? You should leave then. I am. America's epic, actually. America's definitely been epic since before 2008. What's going on, my guy? I'm with Channel 6 News. 
and I was wondering if you would like to do an interview with I would me. love to. I would love nothing more than to do an interview with Channel All right, 6. I'll go get my camera guy. Okay, okay. We'll just be here with the megaphone. You can't miss us. You oh, yeah. can't miss yeah, us. Yeah, you can't miss us. I'll be right there. Me too. If you need to talk to you, you know, bud. We're going to keep America great. We're going to keep America great for you. And for you. Oh. Stay six feet away. You have to stay six feet away. You're going to give me COVID. Stop. Help. He's going to give me COVID. Help. He's going to give me COVID. You're not social distancing. He's not social distancing. I'm not a kiddo. I'm old enough to buy guns and lots of them. Let's go. We love our Second Amendment. We love our Second Amendment, folks. Just like we love our First Amendment. We love our Constitution. First question, always the easiest question. If you could state your name, spell it out, and then your title or position. My name is John Doyle, J-O-H-N-D-O-Y-L-E. Uh, I'm a political commentator. I have a website and a YouTube channel. All right, perfect, John. So, uh, kind of hard to hear you right now. Yeah, yeah. Uh, my first question is, why have you decided to come out here today? You're the only Trump supporter That's at true. the Biden protest. So what, what is your thought process behind this? Well, at first, I just wanted to talk to them and kind of get their answers to different questions I had. I was totally political. I didn't even have this on at the time. But because I forgot to wear a mask, they were very hostile towards me. And they assumed that I was a Trump supporter and a fascist and all these other things. And then... It was at that point that they started doing things like this, and so I just decided I may as well double down. And so I put the hoodie on, and I got my megaphone out, and I just kind of tried to fight fire with fire. So they've been following you all around up and down the street, is that correct? Yeah, yeah. Kind of elaborate on that. So it started, we got to the other end of the street, and then at that point, that was when they kind of started to be hostile towards us. And so I just got this hoodie out of my backpack, and I got my megaphone, and I just started responding to them with the same energy that they were giving to us. So how long have you been out here? Not even 30 minutes. Not even 30 minutes. All right. And uh, what did you think of the debates last night? Did you watch the debates? I did. I, I watched the debate. Um, I mean, from, from Trump's perspective, I think that he did decent. The, the incumbent president usually kind of gets rinsed a little bit in the, the first debate. Uh, Joe Biden did much better than I expected. I'll give him that much. And uh, I look forward to the next debates, if they happen, hopefully. So are, do you consider yourself a Trump supporter, or are you just out here Absolutely. Trying, to, yeah. trying to prove something? Yeah. No, definitely a Trump supporter. Um, but again, I didn't go into it with that intention, trying to prove something. It was only when I was kind of forced to, because they were being so hostile and dismissive towards me, just trying to ask completely unbiased questions. And, and what do you think of President Trump's visit to Duluth, uh, strategic-wise? I think it's great. I mean, I think that Minnesota is definitely in play if you look at things that Joe Biden's been in support of, like NAFTA. I'm from Michigan. It's hollowed out the Midwest. Um, and also the riots, too. I mean, Joe Biden has basically enabled things like that through his rhetoric, and Donald Trump preaches a message of law and order. Joe Biden wouldn't even say law and order last night during the debate. So I think it's a great idea for the Trump campaign, and I think that we might even flip Minnesota for the first time since 1972. Why do you support the candidate you support? I support Trump for trade, immigration, and foreign policy, basically. Um, I, I want to put an end to the endless wars, I want to secure our borders, and I want to bring jobs back to the United States so that middle class people can, can flourish and prosper just like everybody else. Kind of my last question, kind of similar to the last one, but why is your candidate the best candidate? Uh, he's the best candidate, frankly, because he's an outsider. I mean, I don't see anybody else in the Republican establishment or that has the influence or charisma of Donald Trump. Uh, so if not him, I couldn't think of anybody else that could do it. Maybe a Tucker Carlson, but I mean, that's even down the road. Someone's got to carry the momentum. So, All right, perfect. Anything else you'd like to add? Uh, can I plug myself? What? Can I plug go myself? Uh, go to YouTube.com slash John Doyle. Go to HeckOffCommie.com. I'll see you there. Very epic. This was fun. All right, perfect. Thank you very much. Yeah, right, thanks, appreciate man. it. You, do you handshake or yeah. do you? Okay. Cool, nice. thank, thank you. you. You guys just got me an interview, so thank you. I appreciate that. I'm only no, growing no, from no, here. No, your own stupidity. Well done. My own really stupidity? Proud, I'm sure. Mommy's real proud of you, big boy. She is. I was featured in Newsweek magazine. I also pay nothing in taxes because I'm a genius, just like our president. Four more years. I can't hear you, low energy boomer. Let's go. It's MAGA season. We're going to make America great again for you, too. Don't even worry. <laughs> well, uh, that went... Honestly, that's, I think, the worst it's ever been. And again, we went in there, we're trying to be nice, and we didn't even have this on. We always go in completely neutral, 
And uh, they were hostile towards us because we forgot to put on masks just because it was outside. We didn't think that we needed them. And then they got mad. We said, okay, time to fight fire with fire. We're not gonna stand down, we're gonna fight back. So we got our much bigger megaphone with a much higher energy, much higher IQs, and we drowned them out and we made them cry. So it was epic. We're gonna make America great again. I don't wanna hear any black pills. I don't wanna hear any, well, but what about this thing that he didn't do like he said? I don't care. It is about demoralization. It's about humiliating them and then taking their low energy, decrepit Joe Biden and just kinda like yeeting that guy, Goskowskiing that guy, until he retires and maybe puts, puts out a tell-all, cashes in one last time on the public, and then, uh, then he goes away. And then we kind of just, you know, do that thing that we were going to do, which is make America great again, epically. Let's go. Let's go. For the hell of it